everybody! Today, I thought I would take you guys through how to do a full face of makeup using just Glossier products. Um, full disclosure, I just filmed this entire video start to finish, got to the very end, and got a memory card error on the camera. So the video disappeared, and I had to wash my face and start all over. So this is the second time I'm talking through this um, in a short period of time, but I am going to cross my fingers and hope that this time works. So as you guys know, we talk about Glossier products quite often. We truly do love and use them. My favorite part about their makeup products specifically is that they give you kind of a natural, um, like your look but better, just they naturally enhance your features. and. It's all kind of sheer, buildable products where you can kind of control how much you want on your face, on your skin, and really just kind of give you a dewy, glowy, natural look, which is what I aim for when doing my makeup. I don't like makeup to feel caked on. I don't like to feel or look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I just want a little bit so it enhances my natural beauty and uh, and then I can move on with my day. I also am not that fussy with makeup. I don't like to spend a lot of time applying it. So you'll see I do this pretty quickly. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna use is the Wowder. It's just a fun name, first of all. It's basically a loose powder. It comes in this little package. They also sell a brush, which we have, I think, but I think it's in Shelby's room and I'm not in Shelby's room. So I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques fluffy brush. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to apply a little bit. All that's on my skin right now is moisturizer, guys. With Glossier products in general, a little bit goes a long way. This product is most similar to the Bare Minerals powder foundation, which Shelby and I both have actually used for years and years and really love. This is really similar to that. It's gonna give you a light to sheer coverage, but it does cover up pretty well redness. I have a lot of redness in my skin um, and you know any blemishes or anything that you need covered up, it does a pretty good job. By the way, this was the color light medium in the powder. Next, I'm going to go in with the Stretch Concealer in the shade Light. This is just a little pot of concealer here, and I just like to apply this with my finger. Um, it's probably not the best, but I have a little mirror over here I'm going to look into. And I'm just going to kind of dab this under my eye. I don't really have dark circles, but my under eyes are a little bit lighter. I think that's pretty normal than the rest of my skin. So I use this more to blend it together. I have a little blemish right here. So I'm gonna put some on there. And then just to also um, help disguise some of the redness on my cheeks, if I want a little more coverage, sometimes I'll bring this out to my cheeks a little bit. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just not in the mood. But you can see my under eyes are lighter now than the rest of my skin. This is purposeful. I like my under eyes to look brighter and lighter. So now that I've applied that with my finger, I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and kind of blend it out. Next I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to use Glossier's Boy Brow in the shade Blonde. My eyebrows and eyelashes are naturally very light so I use the blonde shade. I don't like a super dramatic eyebrow, I just want it to look natural and just kind of pull together a little bit more, a little bit more definition than natural. That's kind of my makeup ethos, if you will. So this is a really great product. Um, I really like the brush. It's a little spooly here. A little bit kind of goes a long way. What I generally do is we'll take it and kind of go on my brow brushing up a little bit, just kind of distributing the product. 
and then I'll go back over and be a little bit more precise and really just kind of brush the hair to where I want it to lie down and this brow product will just keep them in place so they don't wiggle around nobody wants a wiggly eyebrow so you can see the difference so I have product on this eyebrow I don't have product on this eyebrow it's subtle but it just looks a little it just gets a little bit more definition now on to eyeshadow I'm gonna use Glossier's Lid Star these are liquid eyeshadows I like the packaging they look like little test tubes they're pretty cute I have the shade fawn and the shade moon fawn is like a smoky gray with brown undertones and moon is more just like a sheer highlight color both have a slight shimmer to them they are cream eyeshadows let me put them on the back of my hands so you can see the colors pretty defined um it's just a look it's like a um sponge applicator similar to what you find on a lot of lip glosses i don't use a ton of cream eyeshadows but i do like these i do find that they stay in place i also really like that they are pretty sheer and they can be blended out really well um, I don't find that they crease throughout the day either, which is another plus, something that sh happens with a lot of um, liquid eyeshadows. Okay, so on the back of my hand, this is Fawn, and then I have Moon right here. You can't even, can't even really see it. It's just shimmery. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Fawn right above my lash line and kind of blend that out and use Moon right under my eyebrow as more of a highlight. So all I'm doing with the applicator is really just placing the product where I want it and I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and blend it out. So it looks a little splotchy but I'm not so worried about that at the moment. So my eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to blend this up into my crease and get rid of the line and just press it into my eyelid. So you can see it blended up pretty pretty sheer. It's not a dramatic difference, but it just gives a little bit of color, a little bit of definition, and a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a moon and go right under my eyebrow. And again, I'm gonna take a brush and blend it in. There we go. So this side has the eyeshadow, this side does not. Not too much of a difference. It's not super dramatic, just a little subtle. That's how I roll. So now I'm just gonna match it on the other side. The next thing I'm gonna do is my eyelashes and I'm gonna use Glossier's Lash, sl lash Slick, that's hard to say, Lash Slick Mascara. Obsessed with this. You guys have heard us talk about this. I love the brush most it just does a really great job at separating and making your lashes look still natural but elongated the formula also has little fibers in it which is really nice to add just a little bit of length but i don't find that they flake off and get in my eyes which is the case of a lot of fiber mascaras so i'm just gonna give oh, drop my eyelash curler i'm just gonna give my lashes a quick curl um i find that i generally do about two coats of this mascara on each eye just to give a little bit more definition but even just one quick quote one quick coat gives a really nice look I do use this on both my top and bottom lashes Okay, so that's just after one co one coat. I cannot talk today. One coat, you can see there's just a little bit of definition here, whereas this side doesn't have any. I will typically give each layer a few minutes to dry before I apply a second coat. So I'm gonna move over to my other eye and give that a quick, quick coat. <laughs> okay, so my eyelashes are just separated defined but they still look natural and that is my ideal look I hate mascara that is 
super gloopy, super wet. I don't like a wet formula. Next, cloud paint. So this is the color Dusk, and I use this more of a bronzer. I'm not a big blush person on a day-to-day -day basis because as you can see, um, I just have some redness in my skin. So I don't want to add more redness more color um, than I really need. But during the summer, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a bronzy glow and you can build this out to be pretty sheer. I will say the caveat with this product is a little bit, and I stress a little bit, goes a very long way. You do not need to use a ton of this. It's a squeezy tube applicator. You can see there's actually already a little bit coming out. So what I do is I just dab a little bit on the back of my hand like so. And then I just take my finger and I'm just gonna dab this on my cheeks and then I'm gonna blend it out. And I usually place it a little bit under my cheekbones, kind of where I would contour if I was going that route. Should I leave it like this? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a, a brush. This is an angled brush. This is from NYX. And I'm just gonna blend it out. You can also use your finger. Um, but I'm gonna use a brush today. And I just blend, 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 blend. What I'll also do is with the little bit that's still left on my finger, I'll take it and kind of go down the sides of my nose and a little bit up here on my hairline, kind of where I would naturally apply like bronzer with a big, you know, fluffy brush to add just a little bit more color to the rest of my face. Um, another trick I do is if I find that I have more color on my cheeks than I want, if I over applied, um, I'm going to take that same brush that I was using earlier to apply my powder foundation and just go over my cheeks with it and it just kind of um, brings it, tones it down just a little bit. Alright, a couple more products. Next is the highlighter. This is in the shade quartz they call this halo scope i really like this highlighter guys it's in a little chubby stick here you can just twist it up and down how i like to apply it is with my finger but you can also just take the packaging and draw it on um, but i will generally use my finger like this because i like to be a little bit more precise and i place this on my cheekbone above where i just placed the cloud paint and I just dab it onto my cheek, pressing it in, go up by my eye a little bit. Do the same thing over here. This just really helps to create a pretty glow. I always get so many compliments on my makeup when I'm wearing this because it is such a pretty finish. I'm also going to do the inside corner of my eyes. I also will usually bring it down my nose to the tip and then above my lip and sometimes I'll bring it down here, my chin. Kind of like where the light would naturally hit your face. So see the glow there happening, it's really pretty. All right, almost done. Just gonna finish up with a little lipstick. This is the Generation G in the color Like. It's kind of like a dusty rose pinky shade. It's kind of my go-to lip color shade. These are sheer and buildable, which I really like. I also like that it's like a skinny lipstick as opposed to like the traditional fatter ones. I just find that it goes on my lips a little easier. So you can really layer this. It's super hydrating. It really just kind of feels like chopstick with a little bit of color. But there we go. See, that was quick and easy, right? Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video of how I use Glossier's makeup products to do a full face of Glossier makeup. If you guys want to give any of the products a try that I used here or any of their other products, if you shop with us, you can get 20% off of your entire purchase plus free shipping. All you guys have to do is go to the link down below in the description box, click on it, and you're already shopping with us. There's no promo code. There's no nothing else you need to do. Just click on the link below and you're automatically going to get that discount applied to your cart. I have to say I love 
these products and I really, really want you guys to give them a try if you haven't already. If you can just get one product, I would highly recommend their mascara, the Lash Slick. I think it's $16, it's not super expensive, it's a little bit more than drugstore, but it is worth it. Plus, you get a cute little glossy pink bubble pouch with any purchase, which I use for travel constantly. They're really, really great. Um, also, P.S., they just launched a travel size of their Milky Jelly Cleanser, which we also use and love. So while you're ordering some of these makeup products, pick one of those up so that you have one on hand the next time you go on a trip. If you guys want to see more videos like this from us, be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel please that way you never miss a video they're automatically added to your subscription queue and youtube you can click right here and subscribe also you can watch our latest video right here we will see you guys next time bye